What's going on guys? Your boy Super Boosters J. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z. I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Bruh. Oh, I had to Oh, okay, okay. Anyways, guys, this is episode 14. If you miss out on other parts, I do have a playlist as well. I want to thank all of everybody that are subscribed and my new subscriber. Thank you so much. I appreciate all you guys. Piccolo. The ball squad. We are the ball squad right now. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to continue our quest. If you want to keep up with me, guys, you can always click that notification on. Right, hold on. Let me just go to the We made it. Close. Oh. What just happened? Oh. <laughs> Did he uh, hit the wall? How dare you! I created you. He must have been blind. You didn't create us. We had lives oh, before you ruined them. Listen to me. Is that Chucky. You must oh, eliminate <laughs> Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. So he's the one that created them. Do you hear that? It's an order, 17. Uh-oh. We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's oh. another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. There is another one. I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, <laughs> I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait. So, so those are the androids that Dr. Giro was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? <laughs> At least there. <laughs> I haven't seen him in my time. So what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, okay. <laughs> where's Dr. Giro? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giro wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. Yeah, they always wanted to kill Goku. You were created Very specifically criminal. to kill Goku, right? Every enemy Correct. Like <laughs> well, I guess that settles it then. <laughs> Man, Goku should be Where working at Target. Where are they going? Though. This dude's always a target. Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku. I couldn't give a damn about that. How dare they? How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta? Okay. Relax. Well, well, I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. <laughs> see, that's what so I simple. thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's yeah. right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. 
Wow. Okay. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you all right? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Damn, bro. We try to back you up. <laughs> Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. Yeah, what? Right. Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess I could play with you guys. Hey, yo! Yo, Paul. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. <laughs> Such an abuse of Vegeta. <laughs> Let's get it. Though I guess since you're an android, you're not real. <laughs> yeah. Believe it! You're done! Shut the hell up! The gun! Yeah, shut the hell up. Maybe I shouldn't admit this. But I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Oh, yeah, you got it. <coughs> Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. Damn. You're about done, right? Oh. Oh. Damn. That's gotta hurt. Those are metals. <laughs> Metal feet. <laughs> Oh, why you gotta pick him? Oh, no, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Damn, yeah, was that weak? She <laughs> all that training for nothing. <laughs> what are they, Super Saiyan 2? <laughs> Don't worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. Wait, how do they so, know? So, should we get going? But... Aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? <laughs> Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. They're gonna just leave Krillin sure. there? Why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? Why didn't what is it that you guys are after? Are I mean, <laughs> why are you doing this? They probably thought he was a kid. Well, first, <laughs> we're going to take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? Ah, uh, maybe that's why they want You probably wrong. won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. <laughs> you heard the big guy. Everybody hate Goku, man. Goku should have yeah. his own show. <laughs> but shouldn't Everybody you be helping Goku. your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. Yeah, for real, Krillin. What are you doing? I mean, uh oh. <laughs> Bruh. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I gotta that help the strange. others. Uh, oh, oh, I'm getting a little tingly. <laughs> oh, that was so weird, bro. <laughs> so they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> there you go, Don't go after him. Just leave him be. Yeah. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Mm -hmm. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Exactly. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. Mm. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? Hmm. <laughs> He's just What's gonna gotten leave. into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, 
Okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. Yeah. One final trick? What do you mean? Find a trick to leave you. So, <laughs> you know what's in that direction, right? He's like, yeah, all suck, I'm leaving, huh? <laughs> I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you <laughs> think he's up to? I mean, Relax, there's no need problem. to hide it anymore. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Hey, yo, man, you don't even got hair, bro. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. All right. Hey, I'm Trunks. Overdo it, huh? What the hell yeah. was that? Of all the times not to overdo it, game now almost. would actually be the time. All right, game almost my time Made it. Uh, hello? Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi-Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey. Chi Chi, pleased to meet you. Krillin, <laughs> okay. you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine. Now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good! <laughs> Look at face. All right, it's all packed up. Now oh, we just God. wait for Gohan. Let it rip. There he is! Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just Oh whoops, just get in. There you go. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full <laughs> of surprises. Did Dr. Giro tell you that? Yeah. Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. Yeah, Arno from Terminator. I know, right? <laughs> See? This guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. <laughs> you're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. For real. I'm just going to stay in here. <laughs> We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Okay. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? I love you. We should probably <laughs> let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Aw, uh, man. You know, <laughs> your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. I mean, she's not Gigi. Though. <laughs> she's the same in my time, too. Okay. Uh, Bulma? 
It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin, you're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, oh, my future son, there? <laughs> my future son. Huh? How's she know? Oh, uh, there? yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah, it's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. Okay. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. All right, we're here. By the way, this game also, I'm Trunks. By the way, um, later on. It's completely intact. It's strange to see it like this. Later on in the game, guys, after I beat it, I think there's a story part with Trunks as well. Um, that's way later. So yeah, I'm about to uh, see that part too. But that's after I beat the game, I think. I have to check into that. So. Trunks, that's it over there, isn't it? Okay, I found it. Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Okay. Check yeah, it out. This, too. this is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. I wonder who it, it is. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take oh, a look inside. What? What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is... Some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three mm. years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh, so that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. Wow. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku and the others fought, were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this, it's possible. This thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Yeah, I see now. <gasps> Wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just, I was wondering what that is. <laughs> yeah, let's go over there and look. 
<gasps> what on earth is it? Oh, heck no. Nah. It's some sort yeah. of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? That's is disgusting. it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Hmm. Uh, uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> you guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. <laughs> Look at him. The mysteries you just okay? keep Come piling up. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio Android Fiend from the future. What the heck? I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. <laughs> Today, bro. That old pickle. <laughs> Tommy, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. Oh, heck no. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. For I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well... Your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Mm. Yeah, what, do you what do you mean? Wait. Is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. Well, what? I shall ask you once more. Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Boy, once we questions. merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? Good point. Losing the Dragon Balls is no small matter. Then, perhaps now is not the right time. No. That's not what I'm saying. Then do elaborate. <laughs> Once we merge the Dragon Balls. The Dragon Balls aren't If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. 
Oh, he's talking too much. It seems my time has come. That's time, time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. You said the same thing earlier. That's right. <laughs> Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Oh, yes. Uh, call me. I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. <laughs> Got it. I want to know Thank everything. you for everything, Mr. Popo. You will know my history and all the... And all the books I was reading, you know, when I was in the bathroom. When I was <laughs> <laughs> it was that quick? What Farewell, kind of Kami. Please, don't die. <laughs> okay. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Hmm. Okay. Right. I'm off. Okay. <laughs> it's killing all these people. Who or what could it possibly be? Alright, guys. I'm going to leave it there. This is episode 14. Uh, the next episode you'll find out. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for uh, sticking around. I appreciate you. Uh, like I said, there's more episodes to come. So stick around for that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.